So we stood in front of a VLC 100 IH, which is obviously induction hardening. But can you talk us through the process, please? The process. What we show you is uh, uh, induction hardening technology. So uh, for uh, this workpiece, it's a, a rotor shaft. In future, we will see much more of this rotor shaft because it uh, will be a, a main part of an electrical engine for the e-mobility. And what we do is harden the lower and the upper end, the journals of this uh, rotor shaft within this machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this, can this be put in, in part of a cell, so pre-turning, heat treating, and then hard turning at the end? Yes, well, normally we put these machines uh, in, uh, in line with other technologies, as you said, first turning, then induction hardening, then hard turning, and other uh, technologies from the, from the EMAC group, yes. So if we look at other manufacturers of similar machines, why would you choose EMAG over your competition? Yeah, especially for this machine, it's a, a simplicity of the machine. Normally, when we have got multiple operations, uh, uh, hardening two, par uh, two areas in a, of a part, or even more, mm -hmm. uh, then the machine normally gets very complex. So what we use here with this machine is uh, the simple process of the pickup principle from the traditional EMAC machines. Mm -hmm. So we clamp the part, put it into the working area. There's one inductor. Uh, fix in the machine and the other one comes from the top with a set two axis and this is in terms of uh, uh, simplicity it's very very easy and simple to manage mm -hmm. and with the uh, accuracy of the EMAC machines this is another benefit for the for the customer yeah? mm -hmm. uh, with this we can achieve the same accuracy of the well-known accuracy of the EMAC cunning machines yeah? so how do we ensure we don't put too much heat into the component to maybe bend the components uh, this machine is completely controlled uh, in terms of the process. What we do there is uh, we control the power of the generator which puts in the electrical heat, let's say, into the workpiece and this is fully monitored and controlled. As soon as there is a, a failure, the machine stops and uh, gives an alert. So we obviously quench on this machine as well, is that also controlled? Of course, uh, hardening is not only making bringing heat into the workpiece, it's also important to have the right quenching volume and also therefore we have got sensors mm. in the machine who control the flow, the temperature and the pressure mm. and this is also controlled and as soon as there's a failure the machine stops. In hard, it used to be quite what we call a black art, there's a lot of trial and error but now you've taken a lot of skill away haven't you? Um, yes of course we try to do to remove as much skill as possible to the to the operator in front of the machine but um, as a special technology within the production line, the worker still has to have some basic knowledge about the, the process, otherwise he will not be able to set up the machine probably. Um, this is still required for a special turn it, um, for a special technology, and this is a little bit where we are uh, different to more common technologies like turning. And we've got the Siemens control again, so no doubt it's very easy to use, very straightforward, the conversational programming. Yes. We use, with all our machines and also with this VLC machine, uh, the Siemens control unit and so it makes it simple and easy uh, for the operator. Simple and easy and, you know, still get the great build quality of an EMAC machine. Yes, that's right.